Hi, I'm Dr. Sean McSan. So today we're going to have a quick look at interest rate derivatives. We looked at equilibrium and no arbitrage models before, but they have shortcomings, which we look to overcome here. They only involve one factor, one source of uncertainty. They don't have freedom with volatility structure. You can't fit to today's volatility, but this changes. So Heath, Jarrow and Morton, HJM, proposed a method to get around this. They used a process where the volatility is no longer a constant. So you have DP, you have a trend term, which is proportional to P, and a noise term, DZ, which is also proportional to P, which makes this log normal. The process for the short rate is no longer a Markov. That's an important, that's a key difference. So Markov means memoryless. It means that if you know the state, the price today, that's all you need to know. There's no effect from what happened before. But when we work with HJM, it turns out that we need to be aware of the path that we followed. So history matters. This is also known as being non-Markov. But they also ran into problems. This is expressed in terms of instantaneous forward rates though, which are not directly observable in the market. And that makes it difficult to calibrate the model to prices of actively traded instruments. And so to make no arbitrage. If your prices are fixed by actively traded things, there's no arbitrage possibility, since otherwise people otherwise players in the market would take advantage of it. So the LIBOR market model, LMM, was proposed as an alternative. This uses forward rates, which are actively traded, making it easy to calibrate. We just wanted to mention some of the main points so that you've heard of HJM and LMM and why LMM was needed and why HM, HJM is different. They are used, for example, when you're working in the agency mortgage-backed security market. So mortgage-backed securities, MBS, are like asset-backed securities, ABS. They have a set of exotic interest rate derivatives. So you have collateralized mortgage obligations, CMOs, interest only options, IOs, and principal only options, POs, etc. These are valued using Monte Carlo since they're path dependent. So HJM and LMM are suitable. We'll look at a general framework next week. So you basically have various derivatives. You end up with a formula which lets you price them. So the general method is, oh I want to price this, I have these two or three options, pardon the pun, 
and here's how you price them. And to do each one of those, you just need to write a medium size, a medium to small size program, typically. So we'll just look at that next week.